but uh, so now I'm bursting with creativity. <laughs> As a child, um, I biked at high speeds, letting nature immerse my spirit. They didn't call me dynamite for nothing. I explored the forest and made sand castles on the beach, and I can still smell the salt air, low tide, and hear the peaceful rhythm of the breaking waves. Nature is what drives me. As an art student in Boston in the late 70s, searching for the essence of nature, I created a 25-foot-long tent representing the four seasons, each filled with hanging natural objects. I was energized by walking through this magical space. Nature is my creative voice. After college, I moved to Nantucket Island. The outdoors became my studio. I rediscovered drawing, creating the landscape with pastels, bright lit pathways of crunchy snow, long shadows, thick dense brush, crisp moist winter air. I was cold, rejuvenated, and inspired. Spring brings fresh green growth, new life. I now lived at a field station, spending hours in the salt marsh, just like I did as a child. But now I discovered harmonious color, expressive mark making, creative two-dimensional illusions of nature. I love all kinds of water. Oceans, rivers, lakes, creeks, waves, patterns. Before, I created the outdoor experience inside. Now I wanted to feel it smell it, embrace it. I found a canoe, painted the landscape in moving water. A bit of a challenge, yes, but I was literally in my element. I believe autumn is beautiful everywhere in the world. Rich textures of gold, orange, red, hints of green, rusty browns with a contrast of blue skies, ultramarine, cobalt, cerulean blues, and purples. Ugh. Moving from the salty east coast to the rugged west opened my eyes to more contrast of rustic color, texture, clear mountainous horizons, and vast open landscapes. This is big, unfamiliar country. The light in the atmosphere was different but exciting and new. I was challenged to paint it. Keeping in mind the preservation of our nat natural resources in the west, I created the tree shrine a structure honoring the preciousness of nature. The spirit of place is my inspiration, an interpretation of the journey, the personal quest. As a contemporary artist, I create visual poetry in the beauty of land. I am energized by the changing elements of nature, water patterns, cloud formations, and the play of light. I paint in the studio or en plein air, so what is en plein air? It is a French term literally translated as open air, defined as painting or drawing done outside in open air. The English landscape painter John Constable believed that artists should forget about formulas, trust their own vision, find truth in nature. Today there are plein air workshops and festivals worldwide. In the late 1800s, Impressionist artists Monet, Renoir, Van Gogh and Cezanne went outside to recreate the world with color that suggested light. Painting en plein air would forever change how we see the world. Painting from life is a pursuit unlike any other painting technique. It challenges artists to concentrate, absorbing with all five senses, from sight to sound, from temperature to atmosphere, channeling feelings into their vision onto canvas. I am hooked on painting outside. The popularity of plein air painting encouraged the development of portable equipment and materials, including oil paints sold in tubes for the first time. I use a sturdy tripod with a pallet box and a backpack that holds all the equipment for hiking and biking to the site. It is important to be prepared for unexpected company. <laughs> Some may be curious, territorial, or want to join in on the art artistic endeavor. I have learned to be polite. I always bring extra water, a dog biscuit, bear spray, and a carrot. <laughs> Plain air captures the essence of nature of how light affects color. I make quick decisions. 
Nature is in constant motion. I concentrate on the act of painting, meditating, visualizing, creating expressive fluid gestures with saturated color and rich textures. I make paintings that draw one in, that explore the intimacy of the pathway, working with the paint to actually create light, connecting to the earth as a living body. I am delighted when my paintings evoke a personal connection to the viewer. I teach my planar students a variety of techniques, encouraging self-expression. They focus on observation, learn skills to simplify and organize composition, catching the evening light, painting long shadows. Students develop their own personal vision and learn to paint loose, expressive brushstrokes with confidence and flair. I explore nature trails and search locations to paint and teach. Students hike and bike on local trails. They wet, visit wetlands, creeks, gardens. They create art projects in the studio and outdoors, express themselves through drawing, painting, printmaking, bookmaking, mixed media, and outdoor sculpture. Biking with groups of children to make art encourages adventure, play, camaraderie, leadership, and cooperation. By getting outside and breathing fresh air, we re-energize, increase positive thought, we see the world in a new way and find our own creative voice. Be active, explore nature, create art. Experience the elements and enhance the five senses, hiking, biking, strolling, creative play. Nature inspires creation and creativity. In your own creative way, happy trails, Bozeman, en plein air. <laughs>